Prinandar, Croeso Gomri. Good afternoon, welcome to Wales. I'm Stuart Floor. I'm having an afternoon on the rocks here on the beautiful island of Anglesey. I've just cast out and I'm looking to bank me a nice rass or two. A few casts in and I've just had my first fish on. Unfortunately, just as I was about to lift it from the water, it came off the dreaded oak pull. It doesn't matter whether you're a coarse fisherman, game or sea, it happens to all of us at the best of times. Dween Happis. I'm happy. Why? Because I've just caught the first fish of the session. As you can see, just a tiny, tiny wrasse. But aren't they beautiful creatures? Which way you found? You know, as coarse anglers, we talk about Crucian carp, rod, even roach as being beautiful looking fish. And I don't doubt that at all, because they are indeed all marvellous creatures. But I'll tell you something, as far as I'm concerned, the wrasse in its forms of balan, cuckoo, corkwing, the wrasse takes some beating in terms of species that you can catch on rod and lion in the British Isles. Move around on the rocks just into, I suppose, what you might call a little uh, cove or little inlet, and I've caught what I came for a nice wrasse. Now, of course, they do go bigger, but I'm here just for this one session, just a couple of hours or so. So, I'll tell you what, if I was happy with a small one, I'm definitely a happy camper as far as this one's concerned. I'm about to cast out again and I'll talk you through my setup before I do so. Fishing with a standard 12 foot beach caster rod. I'm not putting any cast on it of course, so that's not really an issue, but that's great for this type of fishing. But more importantly, the real fixed spool. Always prefer those C version of course to multipliers. Very difficult with a multiplier when you're just flicking the bait a couple of yards or so from the rocks. Anyway, the most important thing of course on float fishing, the float. So you need that to give you the indication. Now I'm fishing with a, a size two Aberdeen hook. They're fantastic for threading worms up. I'm using ragworm at the moment, so it's great. And I use a, a, a knot there, well, I have a knot there, as you see, just above the hook, and I keep a little bit of a tag on, so when I thread the worm up, it goes over the tag, and it prevents it from just sliding down, which of course is more enticing to the fish, having a whole worm just wafting around in the water. And if you like, that's a, let's call it a hook length, and that's created by, I've got my Nina a rock pool here, so I'm pretty wet. That's created by a knot. So if you're fishing power gum and you tie a knot, maybe you're carp fishing, pike fishing, whatever, you know the sort of thing. So that's actually tubing. As you can see, it moves up and down so I can vary the depth as I need to. Then I've got just a, a bead and a bullet lead. So that takes that right the way down and then you've got this two feet or so uh, hook length, as we call it, that uh, presents the bait to the fish. And just above the float, you've got another piece of tubing tied on in a similar way. And the important thing is that I can move that up or down according to the height of the tide and also where the fish are. So, fish over rocks, fish over kelp, but you don't want to fish in them because you'll lose a lot of tackle. So you can adjust it so that your bait is just above the kelp, just above the rocks, and the wrasse, that's the plan anyway, will come out and intercept it.
I've just had a couple of lightning takes like that <laughs> and what's been happening is the fish have been taking me then into dense weed and kelp at the bottom and, and I've been losing I've been getting all my hook and everything back but I've been losing the fish oh cast out again I've certainly come on at the moment uh, so what I've done is as I was talking you through the rig <laughs> talking through the rig I've lowered the top knot so that the bait is a little bit higher so that split second that they have to get into the kelp I'm gonna hit them well that's the plan anyway man v fish and don't you just love it when a plan comes together it's only a small fish but I'll tell you what it's absolutely beautiful I'm just gonna wash it in the rock pool because I've got sand all over my hand and it's on the fish I want to show the full beauty of this wrasse and there you go I'm having to do a lot of this filming blind actually because the sun is so bright I'm looking at the screen and I can hardly make myself out but I think you can probably see that now taking it right up to the camera what a beautiful fish And it's now become a bite every cast. I'm fishing about one meter from the rocks. And there it is, this one. Not landing them all, of course. You can see the worm there on my finger. Not landing them all, of course. They're actually lightning quick. If you think roach are quick, well, these little fellas are fantastic. The Usain Bolt of the angling world, I think. And as I often say when I'm course fishing, and the going gets pretty busy, another one bites the dust. Small, but perfectly formed. And this will be my final fish because I've actually run out of bait. Just one pack of ragworm, three pounds from the local tackle shop, and the fish are feeding like mad out there. And I'll tell you what, if I had more bait, and I was here on a perhaps a more serious session than just a casual visit that I've made right now, then I'd, I'd certainly add a lot more fish than I've got. But even then, I've run out of fingers, so I forgot. I've lost count of the number of fish that I've had. That's what angling is all about, whether you're a coarse sea or game fisherman, it's all about fun. And by the way, while I'm talking now, the fish is in the rock pool beneath my feet. So it's nice and safe, ready to go back. Have you enjoyed the video? I hope so. Anyway, I'll be back next week with more tales from the water's edge. I love my fishing, it doesn't matter what I'm after, what species, what method, what type of angling I'm doing, I get a fantastic amount of pleasure from fishing. Check out the written blog that accompanies this video and you can find that, as always, in the comments box here on YouTube, out and about yourself, tight lines. And of course, you will have noticed that I've also put some other footage of Anglesey in this video as well. It's a fantastic island. If you live reasonably close, get yourself up there. Maybe you don't, but I'll tell you what, book yourself a holiday. Make sure you pack the rods and I'll guarantee you'll have a great time.